Kansas City Chiefs, you've been a prolific offense all of these years. Mm -hmm. To have your receivers now dropping 26 passes on the season, it's gotten to a point where it's embarrassing, but I'm not going to just point to the offense. I'm also going to point to the organization. This is a very young team, Mm -hmm. and I feel like them winning the Super Bowl, it it was like this sense of entitlement, like, oh, this is what we're going to do. We won at one early, and now all of a sudden we expected them to just take the next step. Well, defensively, the, yeah, the young have. unit, they did. But offensively, they have absolutely regressed. The Kansas City Chiefs are done. Let me say it right now. Whoa. Let's just call it what it is, okay? They're awful. People don't fear them anymore because that offense leaves a lot not to be fearful of. Kansas City found the light switch, and they started flipping it to see if it goes up. They found a switch thinking back at everything that happened this year all the doubt all the issues the mistakes this team's not good enough to get to a super bowl you can't play like this you can't get there this is not the year they're the most vulnerable ever all that didn't matter it didn't matter the chiefs all year long were told what was wrong with them and yet once again find themselves in the same place they found themselves every year. So how did they do it? By following their exact gosh darn plan that everyone questioned despite the fact that they won the Super Bowl last year. You have to be callous throughout the year and understand that there's going to be highs and lows. I think a lot of players would tell you that when you grow through hard times and and the good times are easy and and anybody can make it through those, but when things get a little bit hard or difficult, how do you stick together? Anytime you have to overcome adversity, you know, it can either divide or it can bring guys together and bring a team together. And I think, you know, um, around here with the leadership that we have, um, guys have been in the situation, they've been down. Guys just rally around each other and and just go week to week. You know, we know that all of our goals are still ahead of us. Taking the opportunities that are presented and um, staying together as a team and and just going to work. For coaches, eliminating the distractions is pretty easy. We're in these walls and we kind of get in our cave and you're kind of locked in. It's challenging for the players because they leave at the end of the day and they're around all of the talk and all of the noise. People can reveal their character in a lot of different ways. And when you go through some tough times, um, or if you lose a game or two, how do you respond? Do you change? Do you act the same? Are you different? When you have great high character people, it it gets you through those times. And so, again, this was a season where we had a couple wins and a couple games offensively that we're just not used to. We got to be able to say, hey, listen, let's, uh, let's pull together, let's stick together and see what happens. If Miami had only been able to put one more touchdown on the board while they were settling for Harrison Butker field goals in the negative 20 degree feels like temperature, this thing would have been a little bit more tight. And I know Buffalo's like, bring them. Okay. If we learned anything this year is that we learned how to win as a team. And if we couldn't get it going on offense, our defense picked it up and our special teams. And we've learned how to work together. It has to come together in the playoffs because all teams are great. And the narrative of this game was Josh Allen and the Bills would finally exorcise their demons against the Chiefs, who they'd never beaten in the playoffs. That was some of the better Kansas City Chiefs football play we've seen in a while. They stroll into Baltimore with a whole bunch of momentum. I'm thinking to myself, am I really going to choose against the defending Super Bowl champions right now? We all want to witness history. Folks, we're witnessing it. We don't even think about losing, I'll be honest with you. I didn't, not for one second, did I think, what happens if we lose this game and what are we going to do? What are we going to have to do tomorrow? All you think about is advancing and, and who you got next, and you're always thinking ahead. And there's only one team that's happy at the end. It's the team that holds up that trophy. competing against him at all. <laughs> I believe it's just two, two, two greats, um, up-and-coming greats, just going toe-to-toe, you know, like a heavyweight fight. 
Lamar Jackson, what can he do? Winning this game, taking the Ravens back to the Super Bowl. Mr. Not quarterbacky enough, hoisting the Lombardi Trophy for Baltimore. Hey, why don't you go work out with the wide receivers? You know what I'm saying? How about that for spiking the football on all those folks? Legacy for Lamar. It's challenging. Um, the way he's able to just be a competitor and score the football, obviously, and then their entire team. I mean, it's a, it's a tall task. This league is a lot about the quarterbacks, right? Uh, we're fortunate that in, in this game, we've got two of the best ones in the league. All our goal and, and what we talk about all the time is let's just get the ball back to our quarterback. Patrick Mahomes. Nobody's talking legacy for him because he's already got the legacy. He's already won two Super Bowls. He's already gotten now a sixth consecutive AFC Championship game appearance. He's already been to three Super Bowls. Yada, yada, yada. 28 years old, okay? Six full years of starting. Seven seasons since he's been drafted. Already has 13 playoff wins. If he wins and makes the Super Bowl, he will have as many playoff wins as Peyton Manning, John Elway, and Terry Bradshaw in their careers. Two dynamic players that I'm sure for TV and everybody watching this would be pretty, pretty fun. From day one when this season started, mm -hmm. we have seen who has been the best team. Baltimore scored more points than any team in the National Football League this year, and they allowed the fewest points of any team in the National Football League. In terms of just raw data, this is the best offense and defense in the National Football League. This team has no weaknesses. Ready? Defensively, you want to run, we can stop the run. You want to pass, we can stop the pass. That defense is one of the best defense in the league. I think overall as a team, they're one of the best teams in the league. It's going to be tough. It's a challenge, but I'm excited for it. The narrative that is being pushed that Baltimore is way better, I don't think is a fair one. This is what the Chiefs have been building towards and what they have been built for. You must have a defense with answers if you run into one of the other superheroes that plays quarterback in this league. I don't think the Chiefs need to score a lot of points in this game. That's the, this is a defense, field position, kicker's game. I think we feed off the fact that no one believed in us at one point. Everyone counted us out. I know personally, I feed off that. You know, I love when you count me. I love when you underestimate my abilities. I'm going to show you otherwise on the field. How you doing? I was kind of uh, placing the call for uh, delivery. Yep. Yes, sir. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, that's all good, though. That'd be out of powerhouse. Raven right? got a powerhouse. I think for the, the first time this season, you will see a complete, a fully, fully complete team. And now I'm just, you know, obviously, like I said, we, we in the process of moving, so I'm trying to find me a house. But um, mentally, I've been smooth, just working on my faith a lot more. And then as far as my physical attributes, like, it's cool. It's just going through the process now. And welcome Chiefs Kingdom to Lambeau Field, Green Bay, Wisconsin, week 13 action. Hey man, oh. I know what I'm talking about. Let's get this money, man. Power oh. rail, have fun. Let's your brothers. Let's get, let's get this money. I know. Hey, social three, social three. One, two, three. To me, I was playing one of my best games. Yeah, misdirection in the backfield, freezing the defense, and then Brian Cook comes up with the stop there. I felt it happen before it happened. Into the air on first down. He's going to swing it out to the check down. Nice move by Dillon in space. Beautiful run to the 47-yard line. And Cook is down, and the medical staff is sprinting from the Chiefs sideline all the way to the near side on the Packers sideline. It hurt, it hurt it obviously, as far as like, um, the physical part, but it leaves more the emotional part. Just sitting there and then, like, 
Taking it in for a moment, I think that was a big part for me too. Time goes on, I try to just be be more positive, um, keep my mind off of it. But knowing for me how personal this next season is gonna be for me. It's not more of about anybody else, um, more about myself. Just I'm taking the time to prove to myself that I can't do what I what I was born to do. I've been playing the games I was four years old, so it's kind of now I'm at the pinnacle of where I want to be. Not really satisfied by no means, but it's more about proving to yourself that despite everything, like, it doesn't matter if you throw at me, I'm still going to rise. I think watching the injury, how everybody was able to come together for a common thing. It gives me, you know, it gives me joy, honestly, to, to feel like it's of a purpose. It's, even if I have to be the one that has to go down, like it still shows a bigger purpose for the, the ones, those around me. So it's not as bad as as dark as people may think, but it's definitely, for me, it's, emotion, it's definitely an emotional uh, roller coaster, though, at days. So it's nice. I have a lady, she's, she's helped me out too, so it's good. So it's gonna be a heavyweight fight. As far as my interpretation, like what I look at the most is more just how to my, my DB room going to adapt and going to be there for one another. Try to give them something to kind of keep them going. I don't know how it is, especially like for me, like it's just my only way of like feeling like I'm still included. I don't know if they actually see it or not, uh, but it's there. They only need a little exploration a little bit, so. Game day, fellas. Another opportunity to showcase our talents and why we are the best at what we do. Fly around and hit anything that moves. Press the man next to you and dominate your matchup. It's hunting season, brothers. Impose our will, time to be great. Go post to go post. Silent to sideline for fourth. Quarters. Go hunt. these guys were on that team that won the Super Bowl. We know that it just takes your best football at the right time. We have that mentality that we're going to play our best football heading into January, into February, and try to get another Super Bowl ring. Take a second to appreciate this moment, man. This don't come every day. Oh, hey! You got to feel that, man! You don't look too far ahead. You focus on what's in front of you. You don't think about whatever's the team of the next week or whatever is going to happen down the road because you don't get to any of that if you don't handle business this week right here, right now. It's the last opportunity. Mm -hmm. It's just us. Yeah. It's all we got is us. Yeah. I got y'all. Yeah. Have my back, girl. Yeah. Yes, sir. Have my. You know it. Have my back. You know it. I need every one of y'all. We're going to ride. Right. We're going to ride for you. We have every guy that we need in this room. We have the talent. We have the culture. It's a process on being great, man. Come on, it's a process on being great. It doesn't feel like there's a mountain too high that we can't stay on top of. You gotta dedicate yourself to this, man. Yes. You gotta dominate yes, every play. Ah. And let's get this motherfucker done with it. Get the fuck out of here, man. Dogs on three, one, two, three, dogs. 
waiting is not something that I do well. Waiting is not easy for our culture. We want it, and we want it now. The now world is certainly part of the NFL universe. It's always been about us! Uh-huh. It's always been about us! Uh-huh. Bring this to the man next to you! In 2018, Lamar Jackson became the Ravens' QB1, and Patrick Mahomes became the Chiefs' QB1. The now of then was that Mahomes and Jackson would be dueling in every AFC Championship game for years to come. The reality is that in 2018, 19, 20, 21, and 22, Mahomes was there, Jackson was not, until today. And finally, and I talk about the power of waiting all the time, the power of waiting in the AFC Championship game has Lamar Jackson against Patrick Mahomes for the first time six years later. And they are battling for the Lamar Hunt Trophy. Good luck, stay healthy out there, big dog. Good luck, stay healthy out there, big dog. Hey, good luck, stay healthy out there, big dog. Tails, you win the toss. Kansas City has won the toss and elected to the further choice to the second half. Go! 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 And Baltimore will get it first to start the game. Good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck, good luck. I'm very impressed with the defensive guys. Their overall passion and hunger to know exactly what they're doing. Baltimore will have the ball at its own 25-yard line. Run, run, run! Run! It's a very cerebral group. Run, run, run! Run! And that helps when you're a multiple defense. We do a lot of different things. He fakes a handoff. Now he's going to move to his right on a run. And he slides down. Gain just two yards. It's third and long for the Ravens, third and seven to be specific, Danon, at their own 28. It's just been beautiful to watch these guys kind of gel together and then put that product on the field. Chiefs are going to blitz Jackson on third down. He throws over the middle. It's incomplete. And the Ravens are three and out. Second and six, Mahomes darts it left, caught. It's Pacheco's got a first down. They're gonna throw a screen, Rice near side, gets a block, 35. Another quick hitting play for the Chiefs. Fourth and two, they're going for it. Drifting right, throwing, what a catch! That was Kelsey pulling it down for the first down on a fourth and two. I cannot believe this. This Raven defense, the first in 54 years to lead the league in scoring defense, takeaways, and sacks. Cut. Mahomes to throw against a four-man rush. Fires it near side to Kelsey! Comes back to the ball! Touchdown, Kansas City! Patrick Mahomes absolutely took duct tape and just wrapped the ball around the waist of Travis Kelsey. That's the first time a tight end has scored on Kyle Hamilton all year. Go all day, boy! All day, boy! He can't guard you! He can't guard him! He can't guard him, dog! He can't guard him! He can't guard him! We're here! We're here! Hell yeah! More! More! That's the way he goes, you feel like you have to meet a certain level of accountability, so you challenge yourself to be ready for everything. You challenge yourself to be, uh, you know, that much more accountable for the guy next to you, and it just is what it is. You, you either have that desire uh, to win and, and, and want to be ready for your guys, or uh, you don't. More! Come on! Let's go! More! Hey, hey! Hey, that's only the beginning! That's only the beginning! The jump. That's just the first punch. Hey, attitude, 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 no let up. Hey, attitude, 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 no let up. No let up at all. And you know, I've covered Lamar Jackson his entire career, and there's just a different look about him in his eye, a different feel to Lamar Jackson around this football team. He's very locked in and has been since April. Talking about going to the 
the Super Bowl, playing in the Super Bowl and winning it. First and 10 Ravens at the 30 of the Chiefs. A fake handoff by Jackson. Rushed! Gets away from the would-be defender. Now he throws it long for the end zone, and the pass is going to be caught! Touchdown! Somersaulting into the end zone. Zay Flowers! This is not the same Lamar Jackson we saw when he was a rookie, second year, and all that stuff. This guy is so scary yes. right now. Like, it's not even fair. Right. If you're back there long enough, somebody's going to be open. He'll pick you apart. That's away from Chanel. He's trying to get after him for a second time, but the ball is thrown to the end zone, and it's caught. Flowers with the touchdown. The Ravens strike right back from 30 yards out. I feel like I need to start grabbing something. I'm a nurse, I'm a nurse. Oh, grab the ball, call yes. me nurse. <laughs> as long as they can keep him up a spot, we cover, keep tight coverage, we should be fine. Um, we don't want him going north and south. We want him going either backwards or east and west. So, but containment will be a, definitely be a big thing. You can bet the adjustments are underway on the Chiefs' sideline watching Steve Spagnolo. The defensive backs first were discussing how he, Zay Flowers, deep. Uh, the safeties were discussing things. Everybody kind of got around, and I think the adjustments are underway. One of the best adjustment defenses we've seen in the NFL. Together, we finished together. Let's go. High same mentality, same attitude. All day, catching high and tight all day. The blue arms up. Holmes, he'll scramble, 35, 40, 45! Good hit, boy. Good hit, boy. Good hit. Chiefs moving for the second time in as many drives against this number one defense in the league. Third and five, Chiefs. Mahomes keeping the feet alive. Now back to the near side. Now moves back to his right. He's going to scramble, and he throws it late, and it's caught by Kelsey! Diving at the 16 for a first down. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Fires it at the last second, and Kelsey caught it. If you're not entertained by that, you don't have a pulse. I know you fast. I got a first though, I know that. I know you gonna hog me down though. Goal to go for the Chiefs. The football between the two and the three. Hands on his oh, knees is Pacheco. Up. He'll get it again behind left guard. Triangle up, push it, push it, touchdown! Kansas City! The Ravens defense has only averaged giving up 16 points a game this year. The Chiefs have 14 in their first two drives. Great job! Great job! A 16-play, 75-yard drive, nine minutes off the clock. Three, four, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hey, show me up, pop. Show me up, pop. We need a big stop right here. A turnover will be will be very much so needed. Turnover, turnover downs, anything. I want a punt though. We gotta flip the field, all that stuff. We get an actual turnover here, that'd be good, that'd be big. Jackson stepping up in the pocket, hit from behind! Fumble recovered by Kansas City! Yes, sir! A turnover will be very fantastic when we get there. Come on, man! Spags defense responds. Hey, great job. Great job, series. Great job. Great job, great job. Hey, go nice job. Ready for some pressure. Ready for some pressure, Tim. Yeah. When you talk about pressure in this game, 
Hey, ready for pressure. Hey, ready for pressure right here. The pressure is on the Baltimore Cut. Ravens. Flag! Right in the face! Uppercut the shit out of me! They are at home. They've been a number one seed. They have a lot of pressure on them, and we have the experience on our side. I feel you! I feel you! I feel you! I feel you! It's a huge moment in everyone's lives here. The outcomes of these defined legacies. Just so many things. Super Bowls, you know those are a big deal too. So fourth and 16, we're talking 52 yards for Butker. Butker's kick is up, the spinning kick, and it is good! And Harrison Butker with a gigantic 52-yard field goal to lead 17 to seven. Yeah! Yeah! Great job, great job! Great job! Hey, we're good, we're good. Great job, great job, great job. Mark zero on, Mark zero on. Third and three for Kansas City at their own 32, leading 17 to seven. Low snap, takes it at the right knee. Here comes pressure, floating a pass left side. It's going to be broken up. So the Chiefs are a quick three and out on their initial drive of the third quarter. We're good. Yeah, no, they're kind of they're trying to bring pressure. Yeah. Shut. Mahomes fakes a screen left, goes right. Pacheco, he is surrounded, will lose yardage at the 44, losing five. You have to learn how to deal with adversity in order to to be great and uh, continue to have success. You're going to have adversity, and how do you respond from it? But right now, where we're at, we keep staying aggressively smart. Yeah, exactly. 100%. 100%. You know what I'm saying? And I got you too. I know, I know you know that. When you have great, high-character people, it, it gets you through those times. Cut. Mahomes to throw from his own end zone and launches it late and incomplete. He was pressured right away. I think, you know, when you have a season of ups and downs, it, it, it causes you to reflect a little bit, to challenge yourself as a man. What am I made of? What do I want this team to be? Hey, hey, we're good. We're just gonna communicate. We're, hey, we're good. We all just gotta communicate together. We're good, we're good, we're good. We're right back on it. At the end of the day, you have to fully assess, am I bringing 100% to this team? I'm making this organization better every day I was up in this building. Third and 13 for the Chiefs at the 48 of the Ravens. Blitz right up the middle. They pick it up. The left side throw is low and incomplete for Gray. And the Chiefs with the football at the Raven 48 will be forced to punt. This was a season where we had a couple wins and a couple games offensively that we're just not used to. So we got to be able to say, hey, listen, let's uh, let's pull together, let's stick together, and see what happens. Well, this is where we lean on the defense. This is who who's got us here. Let's go! It's been tough to say with Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey and the great seasons that they've had, but our defense is the reason why we're in the AFC Championship. Defense is gonna have to bring it home. Hey, don't get cold. We gotta come out with fire. We gotta come out with some fire. We gotta come out with some fire. I have a video of a, a duck on a pond and how they're so calm, but underneath, you know, those feet are going. We're always going 100 miles an hour, but we've got to make sure as a group that we're composed and we're like that duck on a pond. The bullets are going to be flying. Let's go! Hey, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Bring this! Bring this! But in the midst of it, if we can just rely on each other and be poised and calm, I think we function a lot better. One of the nice parts about defense is it never changes. Our job is to go out there, tackle, block destruction, no first downs, no touchdowns. You're always able to go out there with that same fire mentality. Yes, sir! Oh, we can control the destiny of this team. If we play well, I firmly believe we can win any single game. I tell myself every time, just patience. You know, take a deep breath, relax, slow that heart rate down. You know that at any second, your heart rate's about to spike when the ball snaps, so just go play your technique. Hey! He's now going to throw it late, and the near side, it's incomplete. Good luck, good luck. 
He got lucky. What's the ass they make them take the long hard road? Hey, hey. Sinks one right side, it's incomplete. You already know what that shit is. You see it, you see it, you see it. The throw is Lamar Jackson over the middle, caught by Zay Flowers, and lunges for the end zone. They're gonna say the ball's out? They're gonna say the ball is out in the end zone. The Chiefs think they had the ball in the end zone. No official has been given yet. They're going to say a touchback. The Chiefs recover the ball in the end zone. Kansas City has a touchback. Zay Flowers hit short of the end zone and fumbles the ball. Sneed. It's out. Who has played as at the highest level this entire season, Jim? Three eight. That's what I'm talking about, boy. That's what I'm talking about, boy. That's that we need. That's that we need. Yeah. Momentum. I mean, momentum, dog. Come on, bro. That a boy Sneed. Chief 17, Raven 7. That was the halftime score. Jackson throws deep middle for the end zone. Intercepted. Intercepted in the end zone. Intercepted by Dion Bush. Back to back. Turnovers in the end zone by the Baltimore Ravens. Yeah! You got it! You got it! That's what I'm talking about, Dion! Yeah! 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 And Jackson makes a mistake throwing into the teeth of the Chiefs' coverage. Three Chiefs were back there. What a way to accept your role. If you're Dion Bush, you come in and make a fourth quarter interception in the championship game. Hey, pick a damn championship game, baby. Now, what you said? You gonna be ready? You said you gonna be ready? Hey, look. You're gonna have to live it right, boy. Love you, boy. Love you, boy. Bring it in, baby. Bring it in. Bring it in, fam. Glory. Hallelujah. You called out. You called out. Let's talk to win the game, okay? Third and it's a 17-10 game. Kansas City with a seven-point lead at 2.34 to go in the game. Great opportunity for the Chiefs to seal this game, Mitch, on offense. We've been in this position before. And the Chiefs, who have struggled to move the ball in the second half, will be second and 11 at their own 44. Pacheco gets it, gains just two yards. Conventionally here, you, you believe that you try to run the ball again, maybe stretch the defense with a quick pass. Give me the ball. Give me the ball. Yes. I'm coming after Mahomes. My season's on the line. Cover zero, man to man, and see who wins. Cut. In the pocket, he's launching one long. Mark Westfeld is scantling. Catches the ball at the Raven 30 on his backside. Yeah! 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 Big dunk! That big dunk! That big dunk! Marquez Valdez Scantling saving the best for last. MVS has made some MVP plays. It looks like the Chiefs are going to be heading to Las Vegas. No timeouts left for the Ravens. Yes! 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 That's what I'm talking about. Yeah! Yeah! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, let's go, baby! All of the talk this week about the Ravens' defense, and justifiably so. But the story of this game in the second half, the Chiefs' defense. Let's do it again, brother. Come on. Great job, baby. Love you, too. Somebody's very set. 
This game is over, and you can doubt the Chiefs. You can dislike the Chiefs. You can disrespect the Chiefs. You're going to have to deal with the Chiefs being the AFC champions for the fourth time in five seasons. The Chiefs have the Lamar Hunt trophy, and they're taking it to Vegas for Super Bowl 58. Let's go. Get your shirt right? Yeah, I'll take a T-shirt, right? Why not? Especially, especially one that says that, right? I'll take t -shirt. I'm not a big t-shirt wearer, but I'll wear that all the time, right? <laughs> amazing season, amazing end of the season. This team came together in the postseason in such a great fashion. That's what it's all about. Taking one game at a time. One game at a time. Not worried about the Super Bowl until you win the game in front of you. That's what it's about. Tell you I'm going to enjoy with you guys over here. Four years ago, when you handed us our first Lamar Hunt trophy, I gave it to my mom, and the first thing she did was kiss it. That moment showed how much she loved my dad and how much she loved the Kansas City Chiefs. She would be so proud of Andy Reid, our coaching staff, and the entire team tonight. Chiefs Kingdom, we're going back to the Super Bowl. So proud of these guys right here, huh? So proud of them. Most of all, though, Kansas City, we love you, man. I knew going on the road we were going to be okay. We got a lot of dogs in that locker room. The Chiefs are still the Chiefs, and believe it, you got to fight for your right to I know it's a hard year, and you guys play true. Take finish, it finish, finish, more, finish this mother. How about it, huh, baby? Mother, how about it? God, I'm, I love this, man. I love you, big dog. Let's go. Hell yeah, dog. Let's go. Let's go win this. We're going to get them back to back. we got to go back. You know what we do. Y'all see it, man. Y'all see, I know where we're going, man. I know where we're going, man. Anybody believe in us, man? It don't matter. Y'all know how we rock it, man. We got us. That's all we need. How about that? Come on, man. How about it? How about it? How about, it? How about that team? Hey. Hey, in case you didn't know, we're going to the Super Bowl. Yeah! 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 yeah, that's right. And we're not finished. We still got one more. Uh -huh. yeah. But in the meantime, we're enjoying this son of a gun right here. Yeah! Great job today. Like I've been saying, we ain't done yet. We ain't done yet. Hey, turn ain't done yet. Chiefs on three, one, two, three. Chiefs. We are witnessing maybe the most impressive run the Chiefs have been on. They took care of business in Buffalo and in the first half against Baltimore. It's a different world, man. It's a, you have to kind of have a different mindset, more of a, a villain mindset, really. That was what we channeled every single time that we played in the playoffs. To go into their stadium and find ways to win, that was a whole different feeling and uh, you could definitely appreciate it a little differently. They look like the champs, again. And Mahomes, you want to talk about legacy. He's setting the standard for legacy. It was honestly fun. I mean, it was hostile environments, two great stadiums. 
two great fan bases, but you could see that we all came together and said, we're going to do this together. We're going to win these games. We're going to keep moving on and advancing. And it was cool to see Cheese Kingdom out there too and them supporting us no matter where we're playing at. It doesn't matter where you win it, it's, it's special. You know, to have the family there, and, you know, my wife and family were there, that was special. When you do this going back-to-back -back Super Bowls, and you go to four and five years, even three and four years, you could be considered dynastic. But when you do it like this, when you struggle, and everybody thinks you're about to get got, and you go on the road, and you knock off the two seed and then the one seed, this is a dynasty.